Hey gods, it's Devi Vishwakumar, your favorite Hindu girl in the San Fernando Valley. What's a poppin'? To be able to be a part of something that introduces a South Asian lead in every episode, that's amazing and it hasn't uh -huh. been done before. I know that's the dream for girls all over the world. So why wouldn't I want to be a part of something like that? Guys, sophomore year is gonna be our year. You can feel it. With a casting call, my best friend was the one who actually saw the tweet and she screenshotted it, sent it to me. I'm lying on my couch, ready to take a nice afternoon nap. And I remember feeling exhausted, but I was like, okay, let's do it. Just because I honestly only wanted to hang out with my best friend. And it's still so surreal to me. So many people around the world wanted to be a part of this. That's a nice feeling to know that, you know. 15,000. 15,000 girls. <laughs> we are glamorous women of color who deserve a sexy high school life. It's important to depict because she's born in America, born and raised. And a lot of girls and boys of color are actually raised in the Western world when their family's from somewhere else. So it makes you sort of feel in the middle. That was the case for me personally. I'm Tamil, my parents are born in Sri Lanka. They came to Canada in their 20s. And I was born in Canada and raised my whole life in Mississauga. It's confusing when you're trying to figure out who are you. So sometimes you feel like you're an outsider, but you're on the inside. That's a story that a lot of people can relate to. So it's really important to touch on it. We're not cool. Wait, a not cool person where one dangly earring? I would say my character is very theatrical. She's a part of the drama club. She dresses very well. Get a load of sexy flapper girl. Eleanor is very outgoing, very outside the box, and it forced me to be more out there and be myself and not be afraid. I remember after filming the show, I was like, huh, I used to be an introvert, but <laughs> now I think I'm an extrovert. <laughs> we are smart and idiots are banging all the time. We can learn how to do it too. Fabiola, she's awkward. Mm -hmm. She is a very loyal friend to Davy and Eleanor. She likes to geek out with her robotics teammate. She's gay, but she doesn't really know that at the beginning of the season up until she sees a very beautiful girl and starts to form a crush on her. And for the first time in her life, she's questioning her sexual orientation. Mom, I'm fast asleep. You don't look like you're asleep. What are you doing here? I'm doing exactly what I said I'd do. I'm here to have sex with you. I think for Davy, she's just a spunky, sassy, witty South Asian girl who's trying to figure out where she belongs in her high school while also balancing her family dynamic and then her friends as well, trying to be there for everyone, even if she might not go about it in the best way. She truly is like <laughs> the anti-hero of Never Have I Ever. You're rooting for her, but you're also like, man, come on, get it together. I just want to be a normal teenager. Normal teenagers end up in prison. Or worse, working in Jersey Mike's. With Mindy, this being so loosely based on her life, what kind of conversations did you guys have with her? To have our own process. Yes. I love that. Like, she really let us have our own process and that she chose us for a reason. That it wasn't just luck, that these roles were meant for us. Yeah, she was so supportive on set. She was so witty but also she gave us our own space to do stuff, whereas sometimes I was like, am I even doing this right? But yeah. she would just give you the space. She would treat you like an adult. It, it was really nice, especially for somebody who's never done this before. It was nice to have like an honest mentor to just let you bring yourself to the role. And we truly didn't feel like we were picked for a wrong reason. We all felt like we belonged there. Mm -hmm. Yeah.